Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Irish Sports Daily video from irishsportsdaily.com. I am your host, Greg Flamong, and in this one, we are going to be talking about fixes to the Notre Dame offense right now. This is going to be uh, play-focused, right? It's not going to be uh, so much personnel-based. Um, this is not going to be recommendations for Notre Dame to change the lineup or to change the offensive line or anything like that. Um, Obviously, there's been a change at quarterback with the the unfortunate injury to Tyler Buckner. So this is going to be Drew Pine, and I've I've identified some things that Notre Dame needs to clean up going forward to get the best out of Drew Pine and get the best out of the offense. Um, so if you like what you see here, hit the like button, hit subscribe button, and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing, one of the first things that we've I've identified here is is Notre Dame's not doing a very good job um, of of taking what the defense is giving them early on in, in, in the season. Right. So this is a, uh, this is a first and 10 play and you're going to see here, uh, Marshall's going to bring edge pressure, right? They, they bring edge pressure here and this guy's creeping in and Jaden Thomas is going to be pointing out to the quarterback. Like, Hey, I think this guy's going to be coming. Tommy Reese sees this. He changes the play, right? So what happens is this player is going to come. This player is going to come. And this player is going to drop out right now. Buckner is going to going to look to Lorenzo Styles. OK, he is going to look at him um, first. He's going to look to the boundary and Lorenzo Styles is going to run a quick out. Michael Mayer is going to run like either an in or just a quick hook. And we're going to have double out routes. OK, from the wide receivers here. Now, this this corner comes. Let's switch this. So this corner is going to come in and he's going to blitz. And he's going to blitz. This is a, a backdrop, backdrop. He's out here, and he's sitting on this route. Now, these corners have been sitting on every single uh, short route. They squatted on every single short route all game. And they did so again here, right? This player is sitting, and this player has to has to drop back to respect this. Jaden Thomas is going to be left wide open, okay? He is, he's a wide open player. That is going to be where you want to look. He's going to be right in here. And we're going to see on the next slide that he is open. Okay, Tyler Buckner looks right. He doesn't notice that this player drops. He's basically dropping into this. Now, if this player wasn't such an aggressive squatting uh, corner, you might be able to fit this ball in. But you know ahead of time that they have been squatting on every single thing. Throw over to the blitz. You have a wide open player right here in Jaden Thomas. I'm just going to circle him for fun. This is a first and 10 play. You throw him this ball with space. He is going to turn up. He is going to have it at least a five yard gain, right? If it's a good throw, he's going to be able to turn up, get the first down, maybe make a play miss. And it's a big play for Notre Dame. That is something they haven't done so far this year. We haven't seen them taking what the defense is giving them. They are giving you this. They please take it, right? This isn't very complicated. This isn't anything that Drew Pine can't do. This isn't a physical limitation thing. This isn't anything where Drew Pine needs to be a first-round pick. He needs to be able to identify this stuff, right? Knowing where to go with the ball is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing, for a quarterback, okay? You have to know where the ball needs to go, and it needs to get out on time, and obviously it needs to be out, get out accurately, right? Whether or not Drew Pine is a first-round pick is besides the point. He doesn't have to be uh, a playoff caliber quarterback to make this play, right? That is, that is a standard play that needs to be made. And that is how Notre Dame has gotten bogged down. So early in these games, they're making poor decisions with the football at the quarterback position. Jamie and I talked about this on, uh, on hit and hustle on, on Monday, where this is, again, this is a second and long play. Okay. For this is the fourth time in the game that Marshall brought edge pressure, edge pressure, edge pressure. Notre Dame's going to run inside zone. Um, they're going to run inside zone with an option for a, for a, for a RPO bubble out here. The safety is moving over. They're telegraphing this play right at the snap. You know exactly what they're doing. You're going to fake this, get the ball outside. It's a one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one situation. You have a tight end blocking this corner, which should be a victory, right? Every single time especially with all this room. All you got to do is wall them off. The receiver can pick the side to go to go to the to the sideline or you go inside, make a move, and you're off to the races and you're making a big play. Notre Dame has to do this, and they did it later in the game, and it became an eight-yard play, right, to, to Chris Tyree. 
and we'll talk about that in just one second. Here is another one. Ohio State game. They did the same thing on on third and nine. They 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 take the running back. They motion him out at the snap, and the quarterback, it, it, by appearances, has the option to take this route. You have three on three. This player did not leave the box. He is not chasing. Therefore, get this ball out here. Get it out to your running back. And the other part, too, is I said I wasn't going to mention personnel. If you're going to run this type of play, they're talking about getting Chris Tyree more involved. Make that Chris Tyree and not Audric Estime, right? It's not that Audric Estime can't run this. It's not like he can't be effective at this. Chris Tyree is your receiving running back. He is the best running back. You know you need to get him the ball. This is a perfect instance where it's second and 10, and you need positive yards. You need a big play. Throw it out there, right? Get it out to Audric Estime or get it out to Chris Tyree. They can make a play one-on-one. The safety is sitting at 14, 13 yards. Get them out there. Easy play. They're giving you this. They're letting you have this stuff, right? Block, block, block. Run for days. Look, run for days. That's what's available to you, okay? Take it. Notre Dame isn't taking enough easy stuff, right? Here's an example from the Ohio State game, too. Not just taking it, but being able to read it properly. This is the same concept as we just saw above. Okay, you have you have Logan Diggs coming across the formation. It's a zone read with 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 a sweep option. Okay, block. Oops, I'm already on that. Block, block, block. Blake Fisher is coming to block this guy. The only person you have to worry about here is the safety, who was again at 12 to 13 yards back. You don't have to worry about that. Whoops, let me just slide this down. Okay. Give this ball to Logan Diggs and let him get outside. And this is, again, a situation where you want to get touches for Chris Tyree. This is his type of play, getting him outside, getting him in space. Let one person miss, and then we're off to the races. Okay. Now, even if you aren't making this, let's say you aren't giving this ball. Tyler Buckner gets this ball and runs inside. You're running inside. This this player crashes and this player comes off and makes the play. Right now, look, it's a seven yard gain and that's great. But you have if you're gonna if you're not gonna give this ball, then keep it and follow Logan Diggs outside and he can become a lead blocker for you. Right now, this isn't going to be an option for Drew Pine. He is not going to um, be the 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 great runner that Tyler Buckner can be. But he has to be able to make reads like this. This is a simple read that he has to be able to make, right? And and I don't want to to bang Tyler Buckner too hard because obviously he was trying his butt off in these games and, and he's he's wanting to make the right plays. But this is what's holding Notre Dame back from being a better offensive football team is you're not making the types of reads and taking the things that the defense is giving you in order to succeed in that situation, right? Dr- drives are getting stalled. They're not, they're not capitalizing on the opportunities that they have, and it's because of stuff like this. This is how things can get better a lot quicker, a lot better. Now, this is one where Notre Dame hit one, and I wanted to highlight it because it was very good design by Tommy Reese and getting not just a big play for Michael Mayer, but also a big play for later in the game that they could have hit um, on another occasion. And so you're going to see Chris Tyree go in motion at the snap. He is going to come across, okay? They're going to be in a three cover. All right, this player is going to settle down here. Michael Mayer is going to come out, and then he's going to run a wheel. Braden Lindsay out runs a deep post. Okay, Braden Lindsay's open. Okay, now look, you, you hit Michael Mayer on the on the on the um, on the on the wheel route, and that's a great throw. And we're not we're not going to criticize that. Okay, it was it was a great play, but they put the defense in a big bind here because this player has to turn and chase Michael Mayer across the field. Right. He has to, Michael Mayer is threatening the flat and he's looking to the flat and then he turns it upfield. He has to chase because this player in cover three is chasing Braden Lindsay to the middle of the field. Now, again, Braden Lindsay's open. If, if he throws it to him and if he leads it right, okay, it's it's going to be a, a huge play, if not a touchdown. Obviously, Notre Dame hasn't hit those plays this year. And that's another thing. Hit the big plays that are available to you. Okay. You got Braden Lindsay running on a, on a go route on, on, a, on a corner post. He's wide open. You got to hit him. Right, that's a throw that Drew Pine can make. That's a throw that Notre Dame cannot miss anymore. Okay, you have Jaden Thomas earlier in the game. You have a you have a a, a slot fade. Got to hit it. Okay, you got to at least give him a chance. Braden Lindsay on the sideline. Keep the ball in bounds. Right, stuff like that. That these aren't 
I understand that there's a lot of things that Notre Dame is not doing right now. Um, there's a lot of things that Notre Dame can clean up. But this is something that that needs to happen, right? You have a, a, a situation where all the play calls are not perfect and they're not getting the ball for Chris Tyree enough and they're not doing those things. But when the plays are right, like this one, this is a good play design, right? You get them outside. You, you, if, if, if Mayer gets chased and Lindsey gets chased, then you have Chris Tyree out here in space. You just hit it to him and he's got a ton of room. Right. If Chris Tyree is not available, that's because Michael Mayer is on, on the on the out and up. Right. And that's what they hit. It's a huge play for Notre Dame. You got to capitalize on these things. And when you do capitalize on these things, it shows what can happen. And here was another one. This is the, the next play. Right. Marshall, bring it. OK, he comes off the edge. Right. You have all these players inside. You have eight inside. You only have six blocking. OK. So this is an easy pull, and he does it, right? Block, block. Chris Tyree gets the ball. It's not a very good pass. It's behind him, so he's got to reach back and catch it. This player has time to rally, but Chris Tyree still gets outside for a gain of eight, right? So that's a gain of eight. Sets the offense up. Next play, Tyler Buckner, quarterback keep for a first down. Next play, play action. Hit Kevin Ballman on a, on a, on a, on a quarterback bootleg. He gets down to the one-yard line. Notre Dame goes and scores a touchdown, right? When you're taking what the defense gives you and you're not running into heavy boxes, when you're not banging your head into the wall trying to establish something, trying to be something that you're not, which is a power-running team with a great running game, that's when the offense starts moving, right? And this is the beauty of an offense like this, and this is what we saw from Marshall at, at a number of points in the game. You can just do what the defense gives you, right, every single time. And if you do it over and over again and you put them in enough binds, that's when you can hit them for big plays. It, you know, we, we could have seen that if they had run it out and up at any point, right? They, they Marshall is giving you – we know that their corners are jumping. Anything short, they're jumping, they're squatting. They want to be aggressive. Hit them over the top when they do that stuff, right? And Notre Dame needs to do a better job of that. And that was uh, some of the things that we saw. They did take advantage of it to, at, at times, and they needed to. And Notre Dame needs to do a better job of saying, like, okay, this is what you're giving me. This is what I'm going to take. Right? They haven't done that enough in the first two games, and I think that's something that Drew Pine can do. Okay, it, again, it's not asking him to be Pat Mahomes. It's not asking him to be Bryce Young. It's just asking him to be a quarterback who can identify what the defense is doing, what the defense is giving you, and taking that thing and doing it consistently over and over and over again. Obviously, there's going to be time in the game uh, to take shots, and there's going to be time in the game to uh, take risks and be aggressive. Um, but for the most part, the, the problem that Notre Dame is having right now is all the little things, is all the things that they could capitalize on. They're not hitting on those plays, and that's setting them up in third and longs. That's not going to be a very conducive and good uh, down and distance for Notre Dame especially while the offensive line is struggling like it is. So um, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you got to take what the defense is giving you. You got to take what is available, use the weapons like you can get Chris Tyree out um, in space, get Lorenzo styles out in space. Obviously you're creating opportunities for Michael Mayer who had a big game. And so it's not that they're not trying to get him involved, but it's a situation where um, you're just, you're, you're using those guys to open things up even more for Michael Mayer. So um, those are the ideas that I had. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hopefully we see some of these things against Cal next week. New quarterback, better decisions, um, better scheme, uh, more consistency, hitting on the things that um, the defense is giving you. So thank you very much for tuning in, and we will talk to you very, very soon.